Hello and welcome to this show tutorial on how to paint lips, um, lips and mouth area generally just to make it look very nice and realistic. Um, we're painting it primarily after we have applied the base coats and the highlights and everything. So you want to have a layer of paint or flesh tone uh, down and then you want to apply ideally a watercolor pencil that's something like a deep purple or a very diluted paint. Hopefully your model already has some uh, lip wrinkles and everything sculpted in. If not, just do your best to follow the contours of the lips. As a general idea, you want the borders and the inside, the part where the two lips uh, meet together, you want it to be a little bit darker. Watercolor pencil is ideal because if you make a mistake, you can just clean it up with some excess water and, uh, and your brush. So that will be the first step. Make sure that you apply all over a darker purplish pinkish color. Um, it's the same for uh, male and female models, so you don't need to think about it. You want to give this pinkish purplish tint to the, to the mouth area to begin with. Yes, and that's all. So I'm saying if the model is good, the paint uh, and the pigment should just fall into the recesses and give this uh, this color. Up next, if your model has an open mouth, uh, you want to put uh, on the tongue and uh, everywhere inside the mouth a reddish color, something like a salmon pink would be ideal. So a darker, a darker pink. And what's really important so that it will look good is that you want this color to be uneven i'll show you actually two ways to apply this so first of all i'm applying paint it's uh, it's pigment and it's the pigment from the skin tones from army painter and um, another way that you're going to be seeing shortly is by using again the watercolor pencils which is just as easy the idea is because this is a pigment it's supposed to be used with a mixing medium but we're not using it with a mixing medium or we're just using it as it is and because i have the base uh, flesh tone on it's just gonna apply a little bit patchy and this is what you want because it will give that unevenness in uh, in coloration that we have inside our mouth And the second option is just to use the watercolor pencil, obviously a red one, and make sure you apply it all over. This may uh, take a little bit more, more work because it's more diluted. Make sure you apply it around the teeth as well, so you don't want them uh, left out. Moving on to the teeth, the most important thing is not to use too much of a straight white. So you want to use a, a yellowish white, mix it with a white and apply it all over. And then just on the tip of the teeth, you can apply something like a pearl pigment or a white that's, let's say, whiter. You need a fine brush because uh, you want to get this look uh, looking nice and uh, concise. To finalize the lips, we're gonna be using pastels. So just apply some red pastel first of all. Again, because it's pastel, it will apply unevenly and just give some coloration to the lip. And you can also apply a little bit of an, an orange, a darker orange, especially on male characters to give more dimension. Obviously, you need to think about it uh, if you want to apply uh, lipstick or not. If you are applying lipstick, you can skip the previous part and just move uh, directly into applying a color all over. You can do 
like a gradation and have it darker and lighter. I don't usually bother. I just use a contrast paint because I like how they behave and I apply it all over as a lipstick. Again, you need a fine brush because you, you want this precise, you want the application precise and you want it to be clean. Most important thing at the very end, if it's a female character, if the character has open mouth, just apply a gloss top coat all over. And uh, for the male characters, I usually just uh, don't, don't apply it because it looks too glossy, it looks like they have lipstick on. But inside the mouth, on the teeth and on the lipstick or on the lips of the female characters, you want to apply some gloss. And that's it. Thank you.